Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a really simplistic crane. Overall, not that bad. A couple parts might be a little bit frustrating, but I know we can pull this off. Quick bright side, no atomic shop items needed. Now in the interest of keeping this simple, I'm going to go with a big power pylon. And then we're going to use a safe because it makes an excellent counterbalance. We are going to need a pressure plate and a flamethrower trap. Those are both extremely important to what we're going to do. And then, of course, we're going to need some of that nice, fancy conduit. All right, so now that you know what you need, let's go ahead and get your power pile on wherever you're going to need it. You're also going to need a flamethrower trap. Now, technically, once you have the pylon in place, if you want to, you can go ahead and flamethrower trap it and break it. But I did forget one other thing we're going to need. We're going to need like a shelf or something like that to gauge the height that you want your, basically your beam to be at that your item is going to hang from. So I found that this shelf put it up fairly high. I kind of like this one. So, we're also going to need to put a conduit on top of your shelf. Now, of course, if you've already flamethrower trapped your uh, pylon, we're pretty good, alright? But I, of course, did not burn it yet. So, I am going to have to move the shelf out of the way. Because if you haven't burnt your pylon, you can't snap another conduit on there. So let me grab this, we'll get it out of the way, and then we'll burn that pesky pylon, we'll burn it to the ground. There we go, problem solved. You know, and who said fire doesn't fix things, alright? They're crazy. Fire fixed it, alright? So let's get this back over here. And I'm a little bit crazy, so I'm going to attempt to line this up, because I can't help it, alright? I have to at least have it close or it will drive me insane that that's pretty darn good right there all right so that's pretty good now we should be able to go ahead and snap a pylon or not a pylon oh my gosh a conduit on there I'm take like a medium one throw it on the end of that come on snap okay now we're gonna go ahead and pick up the shelf move it out of the way the other conduit should stay where they're at. Now, we have to move on to making the counterbalance. So let's hop over there. Now, we're going to go ahead and... Let's move this pressure plate real quick. So we're going to go ahead and take one of our little conduits that we have. Get it kind of lined up. Then we're going to pick up the safe and have it sitting on top of the end of it. Now we're going to pick up the whole thing and try to sit it on top of the pressure plate. Go ahead and stand on the plate and you're just going to pick up the item, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. Over and over and over and you're going to slowly merge the item. Now, of course, I'm not trying to be perfect. If I was, I would, you know, I would do way better than that. But anyways, so now we're going to take this back up here and snap it where the shelf piece was at so that is now the back of the crane so you can go ahead and repair your pylon at this point so that right there we've already got a pretty darn good start to the crane and we're not that far from wrapping this thing up now we get to the partially frustrating part so we're going to want this conduit piece right here because this is what is going to basically hold the item that's hanging so now that we got that what are you going to try to hang from it because this is where it can get a little bit tricky now what do i want to use i mean a toolbox is pretty small it should merge on there pretty easy but i really really like the wooden crate it looks pretty darn good so let's try to get this on here now the key to victory is you got to try to eyeball where the rough center of this thing is going to be at. And once you've got it, we're going to go ahead and put that on the pressure plate. 
It is really finicky. Hopefully you can get it in a nice sweet spot and then start merging it. Now if you are merging where there's a foundation or something else, this little problem right here can happen where it's going to go, oh, nope, it, it's sticking in this stuff, not allowed. You may have way better luck trying this on the ground. So let's get back to it. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over and over because you're going to need a nice big gap between these two items. Now, as you can see, I've got a decent amount of space between the two. I'm happy with it. We can go ahead and snap that on. And now we have a crate. It's not officially hanging yet because we need to add another little power connector on top. Because that's basically going to be our connection point. Eh, I don't know. I think that's pretty darn close. So we'll throw that down. Now all you got to do, connect the two. So we're going to go ahead and connect the top onto the crate. And while that's not perfect, we have a crane. Uh, not a whole lot to it. Does take a little bit of time, but totally worth it. And you can expand on this and do so much more. This is just a super simplistic crane. But I hope it helps you out. Helps you make your next crazy camp. But that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.